Hey up, Johnny here, and on this Mantic Monday we're going to be learning how to build some of the vehicles for Firefight. This week we are building the incredible Enforcer Interceptor. Now I've not actually built one of these yet myself, but I've been told it's incredibly simple and easy, so while still being informative, I'm also going to show you just how quickly you can build one. So let's set a timer and let's go. Okay, starting with the hardest bit base. Done. There we go. Obviously you can, if you wish, leave it clear like this or you can make a nice diorama base, lots of flock or maybe urban battle scene on the uh, on the base or you can leave it clear and then you can see your terrain underneath it. First off we take the two main hull sections like you'll have seen in all the other videos I've been doing lately, we have these plugs on the inside. Little blob of glue. And then I'd like to just put a little bit around some of the edges. Not going too mad, but just enough to just help it seal. Line those two up. There we go, just wipe off any excess bits of glue that might squeeze the way through. And then we have these two pieces here. This piece and these form the troop carrying uh, section of the ship you can see again always dry fit just so you know what you're doing and glue along there goes in there like that same again on the other side a bit too much on there let's move that over there a little bit. Just hold that in place for a moment. There we go. And then this rear door section, while this is still wet, just prise that open a little bit. And then that, oops, he says. Prise that open a little bit so that, that slots in there like that. No. You can, of course, if you wish, glue it in place. And then back to the hull, take these two large wing sections before that. Take these sections to put under the wing and just check I've got these ones the right way around. It's this one. There we go. They just clip there like that. Again, blob of glue. Same again with the other one. And then once they're in place like that, this little notch here fits in this slot here. And then this triangle section fits in this recess here, like that. Now the one thing I have just noticed that I missed, which my colleague did warn me about as he's just built one himself, is these little fan sections you want to slide in before you uh, glue that in place. The beauty of using plastic glue rather than say super glue is you do have that little bit of contact time before 
it sets fully so you can always go back and just prise them apart if you have forgotten something or made a mistake like that same with this one Let's see if I can slide it in without taking the whole thing off there we go and that just fills that hole there with a nice vent detail so as I was saying the triangle and the notch in there like that same again on this side there we go and then once you've done that what that then allows is these notches here lining up with these here and then that just sits in there like that now of course you notice they've got these slots here for which are for the uh, the base to clip in. That is of course if you're wanting to do the Accuser Bomber which doesn't have the transport section on the bottom. There we go, nice satisfying click and then you know you've got that lined up. I am going to put a little blob of glue on the top of this door because it does shake around a little bit it's one of those where you could always if you wish to have it opened you could always bob a little magnet or something on it and i'm going to do these back wing sections which is these pieces here before we put those on you've got these extra bits to go over. It's the wider bit goes on first so that sits flush on the other side like that. Let's see the same again with that one. You're looking at having the front, the angle, in the front narrowest part of the wing so it sits like that. Small blob of glue, won't need a lot. Wipe off the excess. Same again. This one. Through there like that. And then they just sit in these lugs like this. Just hold that in place for a moment. Same again this side. What I really enjoy about building an awful lot of the vehicles is the majority of the time everything's sort of symmetrical so once you've done one side you just rinse and repeat for the other side. Okay and then it leaves us these sections here for the front wings. Now these you see the little X and the circle these do just fit on really snugly which allows you to not glue them because then you've got the flying position and the hovering position a nice little touch squeeze that on there like that I'm just going to flip it over so then we have a multitude of different weapon options for the uh, flyer. I'm going to choose to put the burst cannons on. What I would recommend is some small magnets just on the ends of them so that they stay nice and solid. You can of course always if you don't have magnets to hand pop a little bit of blue tack on or something. I'm going to glue these ones in place just for now. That magnets are becoming one of the most useful tools in a hobbyist's arsenal. That's why we sell lots on our website now. It's very useful for bits that 
you think at some point I might want to change that. And then we have this little foot section which just sits on the front here with the arched sort of toes as you were if you imagine it that's a foot to the front. Just line that up nicely. And then lastly, these missile pods, they just sit on the end like that. So I'll do some little line of glue more on the outside of that. Just line that up so that it's flush across the top. And then the same on the other side, making sure that when you line it up, it looks symmetrical to the other one. So it's probably best to get looking over the top of it like that. And then you can line it up across there, and then as I say, flush across the bottom. And there we have it. There we go, that's all done in just about 12 minutes and considering I've not built this myself before I think that's still pretty reasonable and obviously taking my time to show you uh, so you can follow along. Now I glued in my uh, cargo hold, my, my uh, transportation section and I have just gone and stolen the studio model where it's been magnetized. If I just take those out for a second, I can show you that you can actually get away with just using the friction of those plugs to clip it in place. And then when you've got it that way around, obviously the, the weight of the top as well is going to prevent it from, from coming off. But that does mean then that you can just take it off and replace it with the bombs underneath. And as I was saying with the uh, the weapons on the side earlier, these ones have been magnetized. So they just clip on like so. So that's one of the options that you can look at doing if you want a bit more customization to the interceptor rather than gluing everything in place. And as I say, magnets are available on our website. And so there you go, that is one complete and finished Enforcer Interceptor ready for swooping across the battlefield in a new game of Firefight. Thank you very much, I'll see you again soon.